Welcome to Itsrafik. In this video, we are going to study about list in HTML. List, it is a group of related items. When we keep some related items together, like my favorite movies, my favorite colors, top five countries, etc. together, it is known as a list. And in HTML, we can create three type of list. Order list, which will have numbering like A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, like that. An order list there will have bullets or points and description list there we will define the term at first we will come to order list we use order list when the ordering is important or when the sequence is important like numbering one two three these are important in order list we can give the numbers in five ways numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4 capital letters like capital A, B, C, D small letters, small A, B, C, D small Roman, num Roman numbers and capital Roman numbers so this five way we can give number so let's try to create a list here I am writing top three colors so first to create the order list we will write O, L after that, we'll close the bracket. Then, here we will write uh, this is OL take to create the order list and to create the items means in the inside the list whatever points are there to write the points, we will use li tag. Inside li, we will write the name of the item. Let it be red. Again li. green and one more ally it's blue so this way we can create the list now see order list is a container tag so we have to close it and ally tag it is optional to close you can close or you can skip it now let's see how the output will appear so you can see the output in the output the numbering is one two three now in the order list if we have to change the numbering instead of one two three if we have to use a b c d or roman numbers we will have to use type attribute by default order list come as one two three four numbering now if we want a b c d we will use one attribute of order list that is type type define the numbering style of the order list in type we will write small a then the numbering will be small a b c and if we write capital a instead of small a then the numbering will be capital a b c and if we write small i then the numbering will be roman one two three and if we write capital i the Roman number will be capital in capital so as you can see here in order list it have one more attribute that is start if we have to start the list from another number not from one suppose I have to start the list from three then we will have to use start attribute so after ol type we will write start start equal then we will write the number from which number we will have to start the list though we are using roman numbering here still we will have to write the value of start in number only so let it be 5 so the numbering is 5 6 7 we have one more attribute in order list that is reversed r e v e r s e d that is the spelling now let's see what reverse do it will reverse the numbering so I have given the start as 5 so numbering will be 5 4 3 it will count in reverse order so here you can see 5 4 3 and if I remove the start 
then the numbering will start from 3 the numbering will be 3 2 1 as you can see here the numbering is 3 2 1 so this way we can create an order list now let's come how we can create an unorder list to create unorder list we use ul tag ul tag is used to create order list and ul tag it is used to create unorder list so ul is this way just instead of ol we will write ul this will create an unorder list if we see the output you can see here one dot symbol is there so this is an unorder list unorder list have just one attribute that is type we can give the type as circle digs or square so let give the type as circle so you will type equal circle and the output is this one you can see one small circle i have zoomed up is now instead of circle if we give dix d i s c then there will be bullet points which we get by default in an order list and if we give square we will get a small square so you can see here we are getting a small score uh, square after an order list we have one more type of list that is description list description list we use to define the terms suppose we'll have to define some computer common terms like hardware software etc so how we'll do to make a description list first we write dl dl stands for description list inside dl we write dt dt means its description title and dt closing is optional we can close or we can skip it suppose i am explaining about hardware so i am writing h a r d w a r e hardware after dt we will write dd that means description definition and here i am explaining the term as it is the physical component of a computer now again to start the new term we will write again dt and here the next term let it be software then description dd it's control the computer So let's see the output so you can see the output here first term after that a bit space will be there and after that the definition so this way the description list is to come and here closing is optional like this dt and even li tag also closing is optional if i remove the closing from dt and dd still it will work i have removed it now let's see the output still it's working so in description list and even in list that list item li tag closing is optional you can close or you can skip it or you can not close sometimes we may have to create a list inside another list this is called nested list let us come to an example I am creating an order list first so I am writing ol order list and inside the list I have one item is coffee so I am writing li coffee inside the coffee I have one more another list which is unorder list so we will write ul and inside this unorder list we have the item is 
ब्लैक कॉफी एगेन एल आई हियर विल राइट मिल्क कॉफी आफ्टर डेट वी विल कम आउट फ्रॉम दिस अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट सो डेट मीन्स दिस अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट विल कम इन साइड कॉफी आफ्टर डेट वी विल अगेन टेक वन मोर आइटम एल आई विच इज अंडर द पेरेंट ऑर्डर लिस्ट देर विल राइट टी नाउ इफ वी एग्जीक्यूट द फाइल द आउटपुट विल बी दिस वे वन कॉफी इन साइड कॉफी टू मोर आइटम ब्लैक कॉफी मिल्क कॉफी एंड टू टी नाउ एगेन डेट इज इन नेस्टेड लिस्ट डेट ब्लैक कॉफी एंड मिल्क कॉफी इन साइड देयर ऑल्सो वी कैन क्रिएट नेस्टेड लिस्ट लाइक सपोज आई एम क्रिएटिंग इन साइड द मिल्क कॉफी सो देयर आई एम राइटिंग ओ एल अगेन इन साइड द ओ एल आई एम राइटिंग कोल्ड कॉफी एंड वन मोर एल आई हॉट कॉफी Now, if we run the program, or if we open the file, the output will be this way: one, then black coffee, milk coffee, inside milk coffee. Again, two more item: cold coffee, hot coffee, and after that, number two. Now, to change the numbering, we can do that. Suppose the first number is our one, two, three only. After that, the numbering should be A, B, C. Then, instead of U L, we will write O L type. A. Now numbering will be will be A B C here, and the next order list will give the numbering in Roman number. So O L type I, and also the this closing will also be U L because sorry O L because we have started order list. So you can see here the numbering one A one coffee then. After the two option, black coffee, milk coffee, in milk coffee again two option, cold coffee, hot coffee. After the two T, so this way we can create the list. Now to decorate the page, we can use either CSS or attributes. Let's use inline CSS. To create inline CSS, we'll write inside the head tag. We can also write in body. It's our wish. First, we'll write style. After the style, I am decorating the whole page, so we'll write body. Means I am selecting body tag. Then this bracket. Inside the bracket, we'll write background. Then this color. After that, the name of the color we will write. Let it be yellow. Then semicolon. Now let's see the output. so the page is in yellow color the list item also we can change it okay to give decoration in list list item so we will write here in li and bracket suppose i am giving background color background this color and here i am giving light blue now you see the item of the list is changes to light blue color so this way we can change the color of the list items now in place of background color if we write only color and give some color name let it be red so the list item will be display in red color and if you want to display the colors in multiple like red color and purple color then we have one option that is we can write li then colon and th after that this 
then we'll write child then there we will write the number of the items first one second one or we can also write odd even let it be odd now we'll see only the odd items color change to red if we want to do for even we can copy the line paste it next line then just we will write even instead of odd now you will see sorry I have given same color let it be blue now you see the odd numbers are displayed in red color and even number are displayed in blue color so this way we can do styling uh, in our list item in next video we are going to study about tables so stay tuned and if you require the part one explanation also please write uh, write in comment section definitely i'll try to do thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye